All right. Th thank you, everybody. Um, welcome. This is the Sales Tax Subcommittee of the House Ways and Means Committee. I'll call this uh, uh, to order. This is our first uh, meeting uh, this year as a subcommittee, um, and we, we've already met him in, in live and in person uh, at the full committee, but uh, we're honored today to have the, the, as we refer to him, the big chairman of the Ways and Means Committee with us. Uh, chairman Blackman, you want to Welcome us and uh, spread spread some information how you'd like to see us operate this year. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, appreciate that. I, I'm not normally referred to as big. I, I appreciate that. The um, <laughs> no, I, just just a little bit of housekeeping, if you don't mind, for the uh, subcommittee members. Um, that there is a form to fill out if you have a bill or you know somebody that has a bill you know we ask that if you want a hearing or you want us to look at your bill to please fill out that form just a reminder these laptop i mean excuse me these ipads that we have um, they are fading fast so we're losing uh daily uh another one and and, and another one so if you have a device that you can use of your own that would be preferable um, and you know you can access the website that way. Uh, lastly, testimony in subcommittee. We want to try to accommodate as much as possible with, with the COVID environment. We're somewhat limited, so what we're looking at doing um, and what we are going to be doing until you know further notice is that we'll accept written testimony, uh, except for that by the author of the bill. Um, they would be allowed to zoom people in to testify at their request. And if there is a request for someone to testify on a certain piece of legislation, they can contact another member of the committee. And that committee member can request that they zoom in as well. So we're limited seating in here. We want to follow the proper COVID protocols, and this will give us an opportunity to do that. Uh, if there aren't any questions, Mr. Chairman, I'll just turn the meeting back over to you. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I don't, uh, I don't see any questions. Um, and uh, we certainly uh, didn't, didn't mean to insult you with the, uh, the, the adjective on the front there. I think that's what uh, we, we use that title for the former chairman, uh, uh, Chairman Harold, and I don't think he had ever been referred to as uh, large or big. Anyway, th thank you for joining us. We uh, are going to move along. We have a subcommittee here, and then we have one following us, and I know there are other committees because we were pressed later in the day. Um, we'll move on unless someone has anything. I, I see nothing with our agenda. And we'll first go to House Bill uh, 122. LC, the, the LC I have we're working on is LC 431828S. Is that what you have? You have the floor, sir. Uh, if you're comfortable there, I'm comfortable. Well, do, you, do you like it? Just press the button so we know who, who you are or where you are. We know who you are. You got me? Number six. <clears throat> well, hold this on. well, thank you, Chairman Martin, members of the committee. <clears throat> I bring before you uh, House Bill 122, LC 1828S. Yeah, as a rule, uh, you know, Georgia does not, does not tax inputs involved in the manufacturing process. And all that we're doing with House Bill 122 is redefining what manufacturing plant, what a manufacturing plant means uh, to include a motor vehicle, which uh, a manufacturer engages in the manufacture of tangible personal property. And it also goes on out, you know, spell out what the exemptions in the bill, it's only used for repair and maintenance parts uh, and does not uh, include motor fuel. So they still pay the taxes on, on motor fuel. That's basically all we're doing uh, with, with the bill is just redefining what a uh, manufacturing plant uh, means. Thank you. Um, does the committee have any questions? Um, I, again, just to, um, uh, if I can editorialize on the gentleman's comments, they, they, these are, they're making TPP, tangible personal property. Uh, we, have, we have approved this as a, a special, uh, I guess, a, a specialty process in, in the past. And what your bill seeks to do, it, that, that would sunset uh, or did sunset last year. We're, we're trying to put it back in place and we're doing that with the redefinition um, of a manufacturing plant to make sure that these fit into there. So we're treat we're treating it like manufacturing plant, 
any place else that make tangible, tangible personal property because the sales tax is paid on the, on the, the output. That, that is correct, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what we're talking about here with, on the maintenance repair parts, about $4 million, that's state and local taxes. But uh, we, we produce about 1.3 billion uh, yards of concrete a year, which relates to about $92 million in state and local taxes on, on the concrete. And then uh, they pay about $4 million motor, motor fuel taxes as well. Um, let me back up here. Um, there, there is an overview uh, presentation on your iPad. This is, a, I should have mentioned it at the beginning, this is a hearing only for this, this item today, but members, you can see on the website, there's a, uh, uh, a presentation listed as GRMA, I'm sorry, GRMCA overview. You can get some more details on that if you'd like. So any questions for the gentleman? We have nobody signed up to speak other than that presentation. Is that correct? So if, if there's not not any questions, we'll uh, call it. Yes, ma'am. It, it, it sunset last. Um, it got caught up in the COVID. It actually sunset July 1st, 2020. But yeah, it, it won't. We're, it, again, to, to go over the uh, gentleman is we're, we're we have manufacturing plant defined in current code. When when that was originally passed, um, I, manufacturing plant to include include these devices as an extension because they in fact in many cases load raw materials and actually do the entire manufacturer on the trip to the site. Um, so it was uh, arguably an oversight when when we first did integrated plant theory a number of years ago. We're just treating treating this process like other manufacturers in Georgia that manufacture TPP and sell sell that for tax at the end. Yes, ma'am. Good questions. I see no further questions. Oh, sorry, we do have a question. Number four. No, the chair. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Chairman, I, I you know if if you'll allow me, I just was going to mention that uh, you know being that we did have this codified, um, the Department of Revenue, I think was toggling as to whether or not they could interpret this as a manufacturing component. But since we had it codified under a separate law, they needed clarification to regard it as manufacturing. So this is why we're doing it this particular way. It is, uh, it does have the same impact as what we passed before. Um, it's been vetted pretty thoroughly. We, you know, um, I would submit chairman that, you know, I know we, we're, we're intend to hear all bills twice before we pass them out, but being that this has come through this committee on numerous occasions and it's been reviewed favorably, I uh, would, you know, recommend that we, you know, entertain a, a motion to pass if, if you're so inclined. I, chair's not opposed to that. I, I just was going under, I, I thought the previous guidance was, was to do that. So I, I see no objection from, from members uh, that object to moving that. So we, we're in a, a position now we would uh, accept a motion. We have before us uh, HB 122 LC 4318-28S. Chair is in a position that he would uh, entertain, chair would entertain a motion to pass. I have a motion by the Chairman House and second by the Chairman Rhodes. This item do pass. Is there a discussion on the motion? Motion is do pass um, with the substitute LC 431828S. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? No. We don't have any. We just for the record, we don't have any members that are that are zoomed in. So we we do not need to count count votes on the Zoom. Uh, that is real. Uh, number eight is. That's still somebody that needs. Okay, that's there you go. Well, we we uh, we'll move this to big committee um, with the do pass recommendation. Thank you, sir. We'll we'll move on now uh, to uh, HB three seventeen LC forty three seventeen eighty three. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. No. You're you're not. What's the okay? We we were in a position to hear uh, HB uh, three seventeen. We don't have the author here, and we do not have instruction uh, from the author to move forward with that. So we will uh, set that aside for its hearing. And uh, if there's no further action. Um, 
of the committee will stand adjourned without objection. I see no objection, we'll stand adjourned.